So I have over 200 smartphones, and a lot of them is oldie but goodies of their time. So I'm starting a new series that's called Oldie But Goodies and How Smartphones Have Aged Over Time. So let's have some fun. So another month, another LG update. Listen, LG is killing it right now with consistent updates on the LG devices. So my Verizon Wireless LG Wing just received some new updates. And as promised to my LG community, I will keep you updated on the progress of my LG devices. I got plenty of them, but these are the latest devices that LG released that they promised that they will update them and they've been keeping a promise. So let's talk about it. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So as we only own security patches and bug fixes with LG devices, it's refreshing to see LG's keeping a promise. Look, even though we're not on the, uh, the latest security patch, uh, because we are in the first week of August, but none of my devices is on August security patches right now. So as of me recording this video, none of my devices is on August 2023 security patches. So this so you know, my LG Wing has been updated to June 2023 updates, uh, which all my current devices right now is on July 2023 uh, security patches. So that's not bad for an older device. Listen, my thoughts on the LG Wing is damn, I love this phone. Oh, I love this phone. I mean, listen, in almost every aspect, you know, this device has dual displays, a pin support, pin software, desktop mode, SD card support, beautiful display, best in, best in class cameras, very good performance. I mean, the only thing that I, I, I question about the LG Wing is the headphone jack and kind of subpar battery life. So, I mean, it's a overall fantastic device and I do still recommend it to this day at a very good price. All right, once again, this is the front facing camera of the LG Wing. Look, one of the things I want to discuss, right, is that I've been out here filming for hours, whether that be B-roll or everything, it's extremely hot out here, right? It'd be the sun starting to come up a little bit. And one of the things I do want to mention, as a lot of devices that a lot of people have been talking about, uh, the overheating issues, right? Overheating, everything is always hot. Oh, these devices can't run uh, because it's, it's hot. You can't run in direct sunlight, stuff like this. LG devices has been true and tested. I have not received not one overheating warning and this phone is extremely hot. I'm shooting it at 4K, 4K 60. And one of the things that I do want to mention is that it's funny how your older devices never had these overheating issues, but the newer devices do. Listen, a lot of people say, well, don't shoot in direct sunlight. Don't shoot in, you know, in hot conditions. Well, I've been rolling for hours on this LG devices, shooting footage, shooting B-roll, doing all kinds of vlogging, and this phone ain't giving no overheating warning. It's not, it's, it's running like a champ. I mean, I'm, I'm overall impressed at the footage and I'm overall impressed and that may be Android 13. Android 13 might have something to do with it, right? Android 13 might have controlled some of the thermals, but I never had an overheating issue uh, with this device at all. And I mean, look, I've been shooting out here in the sun, but look how bright it is. The sun is out. The sun is out and I'm not getting no overheat. And I've been out here for hours shooting footage and I didn't get any overheating issues here. Why well, I tell you, woo. Let me give you a public service announcement. If you are AT&T, you have to have an active SIM and active AT&T services in order to get updates. Also, if you are international, I don't know when you would get these updates. So just so you know. So as of now, my LG V60, my LG Velvet, and my LG Wing is on Android 13 with May or June 2023 security patches. Listen, I will continue to keep my LG community updated of all things LG. That's what I'm talking about. I absolutely love all these devices. You know what they bring to the table? Stability, performance, cameras, 
headphone jacks, uh, pin support, pin software, desktop mode, wireless desktop mode, good uh, battery life, fantastic battery life on my LG Velvet and my, my LG V60, beautiful displays, do display support, and more. Yes, and plus, you could get any one of these devices for under 300 bucks. You could get an LG V60. You could, I seen it for under $200. I seen the LG Velvet for about $200. I seen the LG Wing for about $250. I will leave those links down in the description below. These are fantastic devices. And you know what? Security patches up into 2024. These LG devices will live on. This is Actor Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the latest updates on my LG devices in all its glory. Listen, I have a playlist of each one of these devices with a lot of videos. So if you're an LG fan in my LG community, if you want to check out a lot of LG videos, I got you covered. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.